we're going to be looking at what is a stem cell. So this is um, a continuation of what we've been doing over the lessons about cells and we did last lesson we did specialised cells. Um, so we're going to be able to define the word stem cell, so explain what it means. Um, we're going to describe where the, cell, uh, the stem cells can be found uh, and also um, what they can be useful for. So they're useful in medicine, so we'll have to talk about that as well. Now I want you to pop down the keywords for me. Okay, so you've got stem cell, embryonic, multipotent, and pluripotent. So don't worry about what they mean just yet. Let's have a look at the spellings of them. And as we use them through the lesson, you'll be able to recognise them. Charlie, is it Charlie? Charlie, what have you been doing today? The overall big picture. What have you been doing? No, stem cells. Stem cells, so that's probably the overall big umbrella of stem cells. Fabulous. Let me get this on the board if we can. I don't know anything about stem cells. I'm pretty genuine there. I can probably apply a bit of logic to it, but I don't really know anything about stem cells at all. Let's see if we can get this to work. Stem cells. Have I spelt it correctly? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Right, stem cells. I'm going to go around and tell me what we know about stem cells. Who have I got them today? See, I don't know your name because I've got lots of people listening. Who's Abby? Look at Abby. Abby, tell me something about stem cells. It's a cell that hasn't become specialised. It has or it hasn't. It's Right, so it's not specialised. Oh, now I really don't know what not specialised means. Can anyone tell me what not specialised means? What would make it specialised? I presume it can be because she said it's not, it's not become yet. Rosanna? Differentiation. Differentiation. Otherwise, differentiation, that's yeah. a math word. No, no, differentiated. Differentiated, yeah. Differentiated? Yeah. That's still a math word. Right, so it's not specialised because it's not been differentiated. Now, they're big words. I actually don't know what that means. I, I generally don't know what it means in terms of science. Can anyone tell me what it means? When it's said it's not specialised, what would make it specialised? How do I make it specialised? I don't know what it means. Different. It's different. It's not different. It's not different. It's not differentiated. Not different. Not specialised. Not different. So you can tell me what that means, but have you not got into why? What What would make it? What would make it different? What would make it specialised? Do we know? I'm not, I'm not gone into that yet. Right. Okay. Something else about stem cells then. Um, Phoebe. Not, not, yeah. Um, the Like it's embryonic. I can't say it. embryonic. Embryonic. Yeah. Right. Help me with the spelling. Oh, it, e, it, e M B R Y O N I C. Embryonic. Brilliant. Right. So you've got your spelling there as well. Now, so it's embryonic. What does embryonic mean? Do we know what embryonic means? Do you know, Phoebe? Yeah. So to do with the stem cell. <laughs> right. I know that because you've told me it comes from a stem cell. So embryonic, um, Emily? It's like um, a group of um, like cells put together. So embryonic means it's a group of cells put together? Yeah, it's like okay, can I just put that on there? So embryonic means group of cells put together. What, why do they need to be put together? Do you know why they need to be put together? No? Yeah. No, what's that another one? To make a baby. Oh, right, so. And found adults. The need, <laughs> a group of cells put together, without those group of cells being put together, they won't make a human being, is that yeah. what you're saying? So, you need to be put together, they need to be embryonic to produce, to reproduce. All right, so it's to do with reproductions, to make a baby there. And they're found in the blastocytes. And they're found where? In the blastocytes. 
plaster. Blast or sand. Blast. Oh, found. Embryonic ones are or all stem cells? Stem cells. No, the embryo. Are all stem cells are all stem cells Right, can we stop that? Are all stem cells embryonic? No. Alright, so this is just talking about embryonic. So these are the embryonic ones found in the blaster. Yeah. Right, okay, so the found where? In the blaster. In the blaster cell. How do you spell that, please? B S T. Blast O Y T. Oh, so that's where they're found. Right, so that's quite interesting because you've taught me quite a bit of things there I didn't know. Anything else about stem cells? That's quite a lot about the embryonic one. Did you spend a lot of time talking about the embryonic ones? Have I missed any key points out about that, do you think? Yeah. Okay. So something else? Uh, is Abigail? Yeah. Um, could, stem cells can also be used to like diseases. Right, so to, to, to connect it somehow to do diseases. Yeah. They can, or they can treat, like they can be used to treat diseases. So you can use to treat diseases, okay. Well how can they be used to treat diseases? Because I thought we just had stem cells. So how, how can that, what can I do with those? The, um, like you could, what you do is like say if you've got like a cut or something yeah. that hasn't healed and you can get some of the stem cells that will up heal and then put them on the one that hasn't healed. Right, so maybe, I think what I'm trying to interpret then, maybe you can use the stem cells from something else or it's another person some, or else. somewhere on you even yeah. to grow something else, maybe some skin, I've heard about skin being grown, yeah, is that what you mean? So they can grow a new piece of skin from stem cells and then you could use that to repair? Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. So. So grow new stem cells. I'm about to put cell stems then. That's brilliant. So maybe it's a new piece of skin. I'm going to put that as an example. E.g. new skin. Is there anything else? I've just I've seen something on the TV about new skin. Is there anything else you think I'd be able to do? Because I generally don't know. Um, it creates new cells. Like it makes cells. So it makes new cells. So yeah, stem cells can recreate or uh, create new cells. Stem cells. Right, okay. It develops so and out of other cells. So it can make new cells. So the, our blood cells come from stem cells. Right, so can I put that? Blood cells come from stem cells. Very careful. Um, PB? Um, they can treat leukemia. Treat leukemia, yeah. treat disease. And again, I think, do you think this is on treat diseases? So, there's certain types of cancers. And what do they do? How do they do that then? Yeah. Because obviously, alright, because I know if I took a stem cell out and I can imagine it growing and it can recreate something, but we don't know how it used, but it can be treated. So, for treating for cancer treatment. Does anybody know what they do? do Right, so they're saying they're quite difficult to get. To so actually isolate the right stem cells, is it quite difficult to obtain the right stem cell? So it could be quite difficult to obtain. Now, there's quite a lot on the board there, and we are running out of time. And just in that short space of time, do you think, do you think, if you want to start out at the start of the lesson, do you think you've got enough out of the lesson from what yeah. you got told at the start. Did you write your objectives down at all? No. Not no. the problem. Yeah? Did you, did you do? What did you we do? We did some work at the back part. Right, okay. But right at the start of the lesson, did you know what we said about this lesson's going to be about and you want to get out of the lesson? Can anyone remember that? I don't actually be calm. She just said we're going to be worried about stem cells. Okay, stem cells. Right. So that's the big picture of stem cells. And this came back in here. Would you look at that board and say, oh my word, I've told you about this so many times and it's the one thing you've not put on that board. Or would you say, that's really, really good. I think you've got most of the stuff out of lesson. You yeah. haven't missed the big headline news for me, have you? That's what I want to make sure. Mm -hmm. So there's no... The second, the second one. Which one? With the one that you just said that. Right, brilliant. So I should be really, really happy. Is there anything now that you can just glance over your book one last time? Just glance at your books. Oh. Is there anything that's really important that you think I need to know that I haven't got out of that so far? 
Because this is all really new to me. I don't know a lot about this at all. Adult cells. Adult cells. Yeah. Undifferentiated. Or different. Undifferentiated, which is a. Yeah, which is, means not different. You tried to explain that big word for me, which is really good, the language you understand it, and you're replying that quite well. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Well done, and thank you for sharing, because I am now a lot better scientist than I was 10 minutes ago.